So legend has it that uh, Steven Soderbergh saw you uh, beating someone's ass on TV and decided to build a movie around you. Uh, yeah. What was it like uh, when you were first approached? How, how did you react? Uh, I had just lost a, a fight to um, Christian Cyborg and I was pretty down. Um, I had been punched right above my eyebrow and so all the blood and bruising was starting to form down below my face. And my agent calls me and he was like, Gina, we have this director that you need to meet. And I was like, I don't really want to talk to anybody. It was you know, only a week after my fight. And um, he was like, no, it's, it's Steven Soderbergh. And I was like, no, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> and embarrassingly enough, now I've gotten a two-year education of who he is. He's only an Oscar winner. Yeah, well, actually, after once, the, the thing that got me is um, Traffic. Yeah. And uh, Traffic was definitely a movie that touched me when it came out. And so I picked him up from San Diego train station and we had four hour lunch and at the end of it, um, he offered me a movie. Um, what surprised you most about this process, about being an actress and sort of? The vulnerability, um, the adrenaline, the, the way, I mean, I mean, I always was attracted to fighting because of the intimate experience that it is and the adrenaline that you get off of it. And I didn't know that that same feeling um, can be put into acting and not being choked out or being knocked out or knocking somebody, somebody else out, you know, not having to hurt anybody to do it. And so I think that it was a really great education to find out that you can get that same feeling in a different way. You, uh, you kick a staggering amount of ass in this film. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, whose ass was most fun to kick? Well, I, I worked with Channing, Ewan, and Fassbender. And I think that each one of those fights are special and uh, have their own character to them. Uh, of course, Fassbender was the first experience, and so that one I think really has an incredible, beautiful flow. And, you know, each of their characters brought a different vibe to the fight, and he's he's very tricky. So, I mean, there was and very cutthroat. So there was vases and there was TVs and there was like, I mean, and, and it it's was- It's messy. Yeah, and it was done in, in you know nice outfits too. Yeah. And so that was a lot of fun. But me and Ewan took our fight scene to the beach and had a bunch of obstacles there. And so our adrenaline was pumping. And I, I remember looking at him and I'm like, I know he's feeling the same thing I'm feeling. Cause we just had a, we had only a you know, two day shoot with only a certain amount of time to get it done. And then, and then Channing is incredibly athletic and so, um, so passionate. I mean, how does his wife deal with him? <laughs> He's got so much energy pent up inside him to just let out. And so he was definitely a handful in such a beautiful way. So uh, do you think uh, this is something you'll be doing, doing more of? I sure hope so. I'd love that. Yeah. I don't know, though. My, my future's kind of up there right now. Yeah. Do you think you'll be fighting more? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really trying to give back to this film what it gave to me and uh, it gave me a beautiful opportunity and a lifelong experience that not anybody in my life has ever experienced around me. Um, and so I'm doing everything I can to get on the other side of January 20th in Haywire and sit there and say I gave everything to that um, to give myself the best opportunity and also to give all these people a, thank a big thank you for working with me. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>